Welcome back to my channel. I am Robin Taylor and here I do makeup tutorials, reviews, and giveaways. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and let's get right into this video. So you guys, Mariana came out with a new foundation and it's the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. And I'm excited to do this review for you guys because a lot of you guys requested it. But let's get right into this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna foundation. Everyone knows that I am a Fenty girl to the T. And you guys know I have like every highlighter. I have literally everything that she's ever come out with. And she came out with the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. You guys know that she came out with the matte uh, foundation um, about I think two years ago. And it was very, very mattifying. They did oxidize. I I did really like the foundation, but I have combination skin around this time of year when we're going into fall. My skin tends to get a little more drying. So I'm really glad that she came out with a hydrating foundation. I chose the color 470. My skin tone like changes and I got a little darker over the summer. So usually I'm kind of like a 440, but I got a 470. And guys, keep in mind that they do oxidize. Well, the mattifying oxidizes. Um, I don't know if the hydrating one does oxidize I literally live right next to the highway so if you guys can bear with me if you hear any noise and they're doing construction but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys so you guys can have this review and I told you guys that I was gonna review this foundation so the box is kind of like the old box that it came in and I honestly did really like the frosted bottle because it just looked really nice and expensive um this is more in like a like toothpaste gel like plastic thing um, so I guess it's it is easier to travel with so you don't have to worry about a bottle breaking um so that's cool I already primed my face with a primer and did my brows so I'm just gonna go ahead because I don't like what else can you say about a foundation until you actually try it I'm gonna put some couple pumps on my face let me scoot you guys a little closer That is so unnecessary. This might have been a lot of pumps, um, but whatever. Okay, so it's hydrating longwear foundation. Um, I believe this is full coverage. Let's see. It says massage well if you need, if if needed, pump and squeeze to simultaneously to release air. It's a hydrating medium to full coverage for all skin tones. Longwear light as air, hydratant. Uh, wow. Okay, that's in French. That's why I can't pronounce it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over my skin. This seems to be a little more orangey. Let's wait until it actually like blends in and we'll see. It does smell the same like the um, mattifying one. And I did like the mattifying one, but for people that had dry skin, it did not work for them. And also for people that had texture skin, it would just seep into the texture. It won't really help. But this honestly does feel a lot more comfortable. I'm gonna take that down to my neck. My skin tone is weird. It's like yellowy, but then red at the same time. But as long as it's matching my neck and my chest, I think we're good. And sorry my hair looks like this. I just cut bangs. So, and I'm not done with my hair, but we're going to finish the look. We're going to look all right. I do not know what these people outside are doing, but it's literally like... What type of construction is this? And I'll have a better background for you guys. But the reason I have this background is because I literally just moved and this is my couch. And I'm not done decorating and stuff. I like to use a beauty blender for my foundation because it's easier for me. Uh, but you can use a brush. And you know how the matte one, when comparing this to the matte foundation that you came out with. Like yes, it's hydrating, but it doesn't dry quickly on your face. The mattifying one dried really quickly and you had to hurry up and like spread it all over your face before it got 
stuck. Now, if you're having like a long day and you have like a performance or something, that's a good foundation to use, a mattifying one, because it will not move. Just had to ruin my life, like that's so annoying. It's not dry, it's moisturizing, but it doesn't feel cakey and it doesn't feel oily on your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my face and my hair and I'll come back with my final thoughts on this foundation. All right, so I am done doing my face. So this is pretty much the finished outcome. I honestly do like the foundation and I think I like I think I like it better than the mattifying foundation only because it is very hydrating um, and it doesn't feel cakey on your skin. It's very, sorry, I keep looking down because my mirror is right here, but I guess I'll look up right here. But I do really like it because it feels weightless. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of foundation on it. You guys saw the amount of pumps I put on my face um, and it did not feel caked on or anything. Um, I really do like it. I'm not gonna front. I do think I like the hydrating way better than the mattifying one only because it's easier to blend um, and it doesn't feel very dry on my skin. It feels amazing duh because it's a hydrating foundation but I really really do like this foundation. Rihanna is the fancy queen but I'm the fancy princess because like I review literally everything she comes out with like check your local listings. I honestly, oh my goodness, the construction sound is gone, so I didn't even notice that. Okay, so I'm really, I really do love this foundation. Let me zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see. Um, let's just forget about Paul right here. He, I've been lonely in my apartment, so he's literally like just keeping me company um, until I get a visitor. But this literally feels amazing. I do like the foundation. It does blend well with my other things that I use for my foundation routine, um, like my what I use to contour, what I use to set my face and everything. So honestly, I think this is one of my favorite, favorite foundations. Um, sorry. But I really do like this foundation a lot. It blends really, really nicely to my skin tone. And at first I thought it was going to be a little red, but once I finished my face, it does look really good with my skin and I really do like that. Um, I honestly, out of a 10 out of 10, will give it like a 9.7. The only reason I'm taking three points is I really wish it came in a frosted bottle because I like frosted bottles. The bottle that she did put it in is easier to travel with because you don't have to worry about the bottle breaking so i get that let me zoom you guys back out um but you don't have to worry about this bottle breaking so i do understand why she did that or whatever but yeah i'm actually pretty glad that i got one it came in stores on the 15th i believe this is 35 dollars with tax i live in pittsburgh so with tax it was like 37 dollars something like that um so it is very affordable compared to high-end um, makeup brands that cost like $68, $49, so $35 for a good foundation is really good. This is my shade during the summertime. During the winter, I do get like, I'm like a 440 because that's the next neutral color, I believe. It kind of melts into your skin, so I can't really tell that it oxidizes. At first, it looked a little red for my skin, but it doesn't look red on my skin anymore. So it does melt into your skin pretty nicely. I do really like this foundation. There's really nothing bad I can say. I just really like the frosted bottle. I will do a hair tutorial. The next video that will be uploaded, well, one of the next videos that will be uploaded would be a hair tutorial on how I got this color and how I styled it and this hair company. I've dyed this hair so many times, messed with it so many times, and it does not disappoint, and it's literally becoming my go-to piece to put on. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because it'll mean a lot to me. If I'm almost I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers, and I've been working hard for two years, um, so I'm really excited for everyone who clicks that subscribe button. Like You guys are amazing. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here. Um, follow me, message me if you have guys have any questions let's be friends 
Um, and I think that is it. But don't forget to turn on that notification bell because YouTube, you do have to make sure that you turn on the notification bell so you're alerted every time that I upload a video and I do not disappoint. I am coming through with the videos for you guys. At least every week I post a video and I'm just excited to go on this journey with all of my new subscribers. We are the Taylor Tribe if you already didn't know. Please subscribe, turn on your notification bell, comment down below if you have any questions. Follow me on social media, I follow back. And until next time, I will talk to you beauties later. Bye.